Well, I don't really know what I can do to fix the problem that I'm having because I still keep having the problem of my footage locking up. All I can really do is keep resetting the game after each recording, which I guess would at least give me a reason to pay attention to the recording. Why is it the Pokemon Center music? Right, because I ended the last episode at the Pokemon Center. Anyway, greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Ekmak, this is Let's Play Pokemon Violet. In the last episode I was, well, messing about. Yeah, heal the Pokemon for a few seconds. I was, actually went back to the very first route and checked out an entirely uh, optional area added to it. I have to wonder how the Pokemon anime is going to handle this. Oh, thank you for charging up the Terra Orb. ZL, you can lock onto a Pokemon. That never seems to work for me. Um, little thing actually, Ms. Joy. I don't know where to go. I had to recommend a next destination for you. Cortondo Gym. Take on Gym Leader Katie in Charming Cortondo. Oh, thank you very much. So, which was the button for Mount Pokemon? Because it's actually been a long time. I think I've recorded two Let's Tries, but two Valkyria Chronicles episodes. It's been a very long time. Also, it is not night time while I'm recording. I'm recording very early in the day, so, uh... Hmm. Wait, uh, mass outbreak of Hoppet? I hear someone. I hear you. Oi! Don't know what a gimme ghoul coin is going to be used for, but... Uh. I can't remember the button to get my Pokemon to leave the Pokeballs. I need to do this because Kyria is too close to Curlia. I'm sorry. And besides, I always go for the nickname Garnet on my Rolts line. If they're going, if they're female, at least. Uh, sorry, you have a hop it. Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. I was actually thinking I'd go after the Relic Pokemon because there seems to be one objective in that direction instead of two. But no problem, no harm, no foul. Wait, a vending machine? Are these the vending machines that give out all the cheap healing items? Oh, these are the he cheap healing items. I'm sure I won't need lemonades for quite some time. Yeah, but uh, it's nice to have them on hand anyhow. And, another positive, I mean, I actually no, I remember in Pokemon Platinum you had the ability to buy 12 Moo Moo Milks at a time, and those were actually really good healing items. Of course it started raining on me. 
Are we just not allowed to talk to this lady? No! Pachirisu only! Uh, actually, wait. No more hat, please. You can reach Kotondo if you head out west, out the west gate, and just keep going. They have their harvest festival around this time of year. I'm sure they have it no matter what time of year I'm playing. It's me, Namona. We should call and catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decided to head out west from school, right? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Kotondo. That's where we'll find the bug type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat her. Good luck, I'll call you soon. Well, we are using Fue Coco. <sighs> I am... This is the problem. I tried to keep away from social media on Pokemon so I could go into this blind. The problem is that after the game comes out, everyone immediately starts posting all about their adventure. My poor bag's full to bursting with ingredients. Let me share some with you. Strawberry cheese jam, cream cheese. Sandwiches are best when you eat them outside. Try making some with the stuff I gave you. Since we're here, wanna have a picnic so you can rest up a little? Okay, sure, maybe it'll stop raining. Your Pokemon look like you're full of energy. Come again anytime soon. So, wait. You're an actual healing stop when there's one within eye shot? Poke Doll. A doll that attracts the attention of Pokemon allows it. Oh, R2. I want one. Wait. Oh, right, because auto battle. Are you sure it wasn't that effective? Because it looked quite effective to me. I appreciate having a healing spot right behind me, actually. It's fleece grows continually. In the summer, the fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. <laughs> Easy nickname. What? Well, that wasn't what I was expecting. Crocolore. Darn it, it makes it look like I wasn't being very creative with my Pokemon name. The valve in Crocolore's flame sack is closely connected to its vocal cords. This Pokemon utters a guttural cry as it spews flames every which way. Actually, what level was that? 16, the usual Pokemon evolution level. Sometimes you get them evolving at 14, and I believe it was Croconaw that forced it up to 18? But it's usually 16. If I talk to you, little Eevee...
I could, I could never figure out how to get my hands on what's it. So I couldn't figure out how to access the rest of the Pokedex. It feels a lot more complicated than it should be. I am doing something to help with the. Uh, I do have an idea for checking to see when my video is corrupt. I have it running on the television as well as the capture card, so maybe, maybe if the recording corrupts, then it'll shot there. Oh wait, we already have one of you, don't we? Ooh, that wasn't a smart move on your account. That one was. Is she not going to challenge me unless I talk to her? That's a little different. Can't believe I forgot to buy ingredients. Maybe a rumble will calm my rumbling tell me. I'm pretty sure it won't. Wait, you have shield dust, don't you? That's why Nuzzle didn't do anything despite being a 100% paralyze. We can handle it, Rifloon. No, why did I quick attack you? For me, doesn't seem to be that good. Unfortunate to say, but it seems to be the case, although it probably isn't my... I'm probably not helping. So disappointed. Do you have anything more to say? I was really excited to have a picnic mega sandwich eat it with my Pokemon. Actually, you know what is a pretty cool addition for such a large game? They give you a bike almost immediately. It helps so much with getting about properly. I am wondering about getting Eevee because I think I heard somewhere, and this is what I'm talking about, you just can't go blind in this game. I think I heard somewhere that it will be, uh, that it's actually only in the post game, which is weird and unfortunate. You look like a rock type, actually, or a ground type.
Yeah, for some reason I'm just getting so many critical hits against Petrus. I actually don't have a lot of Pokemon that would have even been good for that. The ground scrapes its bosy as it travels, causing it to leave salt behind. Salt is being created and replenished inside Neckley's body. Hmm. I like how wild Pokemon will gather around to watch your battle whenever you get into battles. It's a cool detail. I want to hang on to Taneth at least long enough to see what they evolve into. Why don't you have any good water moves yet? I think the next time I visit a Pokemon Center, I should look to see if I can teach anything special to Ariel because it's not a Pokemon that I usually use. Weasel, see, Weasel was a high-speed water physical attacker around the time of the physical special split, which sounds cool. The thing is that I already had a water physical attacker that I really wanted to check out. Carvana or Sharpedo, which means that it kind of got overshadowed for me. What's glowing? Uh, can I see the map? No, I didn't want to look this way, but I want to see what this big shiny glowing ball is. Well, we can see plenty of rock rough. South Province Area Fault. Okay, uh... No, I don't want to connect to the internet! I have a Poké Doll, so if this turns out to be a super strong high level enemy, I can run for it. How to catch wild terror Pokemon. You can't catch it while it's terrestrialized. You need to reduce its HP to break through the transformation first. Only then can you try to catch it. Oh dear, that is rather strong. Now the question is, does this super effective uh, terror move uh, break past that high level. Yeah, that hurt. 27 damage, but we had the Orenberry. Yep, this is a time to make a run for it. Lesson learned. Oh, why are you here? 
Yeah, this area is just a little bit out of my level, I think. As is this camera angle. One Pokeball, just one. It's a shame because I see cool Pokemon around here. I just don't want to go through the hassle of trying to survive them. This can hit a target using moves such as Protect or Detect and lifts the effects. I don't think so. No, wait, it is a... It is a... This attack never misses, though. No, not forget the... As long as it has sunlight and water, it can make energy with leaves on its body, allowing it to live on rocky mountains and of barren of food. Okay, this... This came to mind trying to come up with a name from... SK? He's Groot. Please don't let that have been a... There's Mudbray around, and there's a Skyver, but... As we saw earlier, we don't want to mess with those. Yeah, I probably should have been gotten a heads up when I saw the Staravia, but it was the middle of the night, so I couldn't. Oh dear, even with that little guide on the map, it's very distra- it's very easy to get lost from where you're going. So, I haven't seen any of my footage corrupt as of yet. At least not on the television. If it turns out that it has corrupted, then I'm in trouble. So are you. Yeah, this is the one that grabbed the entire internet's attention. They're wondering if it's go if Smolov is going to turn out to be some sort of uh, another grass magical girl in the end. I have no idea. But I don't think I want to use one simply because it's what everyone uses. I do want to know what it evolves into though. It's grass normal. This Pokemon converts nutrients into oil, which it stores in the fruit on its head. It can easily go a whole week without eating or drinking.
Let's see if I can get to the top of the hill without being distracted. I cannot. Have you seen the Ten Sites of Paldea? Want to know to, the way to one of the Ten Sites of Paldea? No, I want to beat you up. Uh, that's highly unfortunate. It's raining, and we can't take advantage of the rain. Water ground has always been a pretty cool type to me. In fact, I think Mudkip was uh, my, one of my favorite Pokemon pretty dang early, because all you need to do is teach it Ice Beam, and it immediately has no more weaknesses. Or rather, it still has the grass weakness, but it can now punish any grass type in its way. This is a sight I've never seen! The Grand Olive Orchid, one of the ten sight or orchard of Paldea, is a little path that Pokemon Center. Just follow the path, you can't miss it. What are you looking at? Me, apparently. Do I have a Starly? This is the problem with uh, what we have. I can't check my Pokedex to see what I have or haven't got. Oh, I just... Okay, that's how I do it. I do not have a Starly yet. Surprise! On the upside, even without a water type attack, you're a pretty decent physical attacker. I just really want to get Aqua Jet, or literally anything. I usually have my recording problems uh, five minutes or so late, so hopefully. Alternatively, this entire episode has been lost because ten minutes is when I saw a slight frame drop, and that might have been the cutting point for an actually good recording. Because they're weak individually, they form groups. However, they get bigger if the group grows too big. This isn't the first Steven in a Pokemon game. I really should have grabbed a Rock Ruff. I'm sorry, I'm on the other side, sir and madam. Yes, I want the Pokemon Center, but I also see things I want from here. Low kick, not what I was looking for. This is the Technical Machine Machine. What a service are you in need of today, trainer? Can I see something? We have fangs, we have fangs, we have fangs. Uh, at least there are double attacks still.
You do not have the required materials. Well, fine, be that way. Oh, fuck. Alright, well, hopefully the episode didn't corrupt. Until next time, guys, take care. I'll see you all around.